Chess friends, how are you? I've beaten top engines and formidable players like Magnus, Hikaru and even Alpha Zero, but today, I faced off against an old friend who displayed incredible brilliance with their moves. My position is like a nightmare, but this game is unique compared to any chess videos. Get ready for some brilliant moves as we dive into this game. Let's go. Dragon started the game with e4 and I played the French defense because it's a highly tactical opening. Grandmasters are not considered to play this opening at the highest level but I am stockfish, I can do whatever I like to do, the god of chess doesn't need any advice or preamble, c5 move is the backbone for black in the French defense, dragon played a challenging move f4, I accepts his challenge with c5, try to enter my foot in this weak diagonal, knight f3 bishop e7 bishop e3 and white played an amazing move which was actually shocked me, h4. This move has a strategical seed if black dares to play castle, play bishop d3 and if he play bishop b7 you can actually sacrifice your bishop on f7, take knight g5 check, the king is harassing, king g8 can't possible as queen h5 h7 will be a checkmate, so after king g6 h5 white will play queen d3 to mate you on h7, so if black plays g6, you can even sacrifice your knight on f7, black has to capture the knight and it will be a checkmate on g6. This chess trap is called Greek bishop sacrifice which is a common trap in French defense, so I played bishop b7, queen d2, setting up the hydrogen chloroform gas through this plumber man. Successful people see hard work as an opportunity not punishment, he played the long castle because his intending is very clear, he want to attack in my center and kingside with gf pawns, for this reason I played g6 and in a sudden move we exchanged in h5 and played knight g5 attacking to the pawn and if you dare to save the pawn with rook, not only the rook becomes passive on c8, rather he needs to fight for the d-file, we can sack a pawn on f5 as an opportunity, you love my pieces black. Then capture my knight, black says, well give me all your pieces white and let me complete my meal, take my knight black, my pieces are all free, no cost emi and 0% interest service, but here comes bishop takes rook, not only I have my pass pawn, most of your pieces are located in a passive square in this white's advanced structure, white will get decisive advantages for this position so back to the game, I take the knight because it is the right piece trade, and I sacrifice my knight on e5. Basically if you captured the knight, white will get the opportunity to push his deep pawn and attack on the rook at the same time, that is very risky for white which is why dragon played bishop f4, I go with danger level, knight c4, attacks this, if you capture it then knight d2 will take the queen with a check, and you can say that both of us have equal amount of pieces but rook h8 can create problem to the pawn. Black will get sufficient advantages which is enough for me to defeat white as black, so here dragon slides away his queen. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a blessing, and queen h2 prepares h5, makes queen bishop battery to join attack in this diagonal so I re-rotate my knight to give him in a good outpost but in sudden white again sacrificed his another knight on e4, he is playing like Mikhail Tal, I think Mikhail Tal's soul has entered to his body. Ha, just kidding, if you captured the knight then after takes, the knight will be under attacked by big four countries, take take, queen runs rook to f1, if black dares to save the pawn with rook h7, we can even worst the position with queen f2, attacking to the pawn but we will not capture the pawn as our eye is focused on this d-file by the d1 rook, the bishop is seized that diagonal and queen f6 will be a very very critical surgery for black. Work so hard that you no longer call them dreams, you call it your life, so I played e5, try to kick out the bishop from my life, and some of you might think of capturing the pawn, but after the knight captured, captured captured, rook takes rook queen takes rook and you simply lost a piece for a pawn, that's not the right thing to do, so back to the position, we have some pieces dances in the d6 bar hotel, bishop e4 attacks it and if you dare to protect the pawn with your queen. Queen f2 can create pressure to the f pawn and the b6 pawn, b6 and that's it, play h5 queen to f6 to attack on the pawn, black have double pawns and his king is weak in this f5 to c8 diagonal, after you capture the pawn on h5, and friends if you are enjoying and learning from my content then like and subscribe to my channel, your love gives me unconditional inspiration to play chess forever, knight e7 my me and he played bishop e4, taking benefit of this pin d5 pawn. Rook d8 and after a couple of moves later we have queen f4, 
preparing h5 to take the pawn with the bishop, and bishop g4 will create a strong hypothetical threat to your knight, rook e8 bishop b8, threatening queen c7 check, so rook ops e2, bishop a7, threatening queen b8, and after the king moves white can grab the bishop with his queen's hand, so queen e5 queen c4 check, the king should not on d-file, let me show you why. Rook d1 check can come and you can't block the check with your knight as bishop e8 will create double attack to your pinned knight, so after the king moves, rook d8 checkmate is coming by the support of the bishop, rook here takes takes and white will capture the pawn on f7, queen e7 queen takes pawn and that's it, not only white will get two connected pass pawns, the king is in the middle of the board, very unsecured and do you know a truth about life. Things don't happen for no reason, they happen to teach you something, so here I blocked with my queen, we have queen exchanges and white is creating a checkmating threat to me, how dare you to do that dragon. I can defeat you 100 times, Unfortunately Dragon Chess defeats me in chess, but I played very well, better than him but I had black pieces which is why I lose that game. Anyway wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.